Welcome to the animal's habit. Spiders, those eight-legged marvels of the arachnid world, often evoke fear and fascination in equal measure. While some might cringe at the sight of a spider, these creatures play an indispensable role in our ecosystem, maintaining a delicate balance that affects life on Earth in myriad ways. In We Will Delve Into The Importance Of Spiders In The Ecosystem The Life Of A Spider Is A Fascinating Journey, Typically Characterized By Various Stages And Behaviors, From Birth To Death. A spider's life begins when it hatches from an egg sac. At this stage, they are tiny and vulnerable SPID earlings. They usually stay close to the egg sac for protection and may disperse when they grow a bit. As SPID earlings grow, they go through several molds, shedding their exoskeletons to accommodate their increasing size. During this phase, they learn to spin silk and create webs, which serve as both shelter and traps for prey. Young spiders are primarily focused on growth, gaining strength, and honing their hunting skills. After reaching maturity, which varies by species, spiders are ready to reproduce. They may build more intricate webs to attract mates or engage in courtship rituals. Female spiders often produce egg sacs, each containing hundreds or thousands of eggs. They then guard these sacs to ensure their offspring's survival. Mating for spiders can be complex and sometimes dangerous. In some cases, males must court females cautiously to avoid being mistaken for prey. Once successful, females fertilize their eggs, and the cycle begins again. Spiders spend a significant portion of their lives hunting and capturing prey. They use their silk for various purposes, including building webs, creating egg sacs, and immobilizing their victims. They are skilled predators, using their silk and venom to immobilize and digest their prey. As spiders age, they may experience a decline in their physical abilities and reproductive capacity. However, many species can live for several years, and some even exhibit behaviors like molting throughout their lives, allowing them to renew their exoskeletons. The life of a spider ultimately culminates in death. Spiders often die after completing their reproductive cycle, and in some cases, they become prey for other creatures. The exact lifespan and causes of death vary widely depending on the species and environmental factors. The life of a spider is filled with incredible adaptations, from silk spinning to hunting techniques, and each stage plays a crucial role in the survival and reproduction of these intriguing arachnids. Spiders are nature's own pest control experts. They voraciously feed on insects, many of which are considered agricultural or garden pests. By keeping populations of these pests in check, spiders help maintain the health of crops and plants, reducing the need for chemical pesticides. Spiders are renowned for their intricate webs. These silk constructions capture insects, maintaining a balance in the insect population. This, in turn, affects the entire food chain. Without spiders, the unchecked proliferation of insects could have cascading effects on plant health, bird populations, and beyond. Spiders are a vital source of food for numerous other animals, such as birds, frogs, and small mammals. Their role as prey contributes to the intricate web of life in the ecosystem, shaping the dynamics of predator-prey relationships. When spiders die, their bodies decompose, returning vital nutrients to the soil. This process is an essential part of nutrient cycling in ecosystems, ensuring the health and productivity of plant life. Spiders have been around for a very long time, with fossil evidence dating back over 300 million years. They've had ample time to evolve and adapt to various environments. The silk produced by spiders is stronger than steel of the same diameter. It's not just used for web construction but also in the creation of egg sacs and even for silk drag lines, which allow spiders to fly short distances through the air. 
Many of the spiders' contributions to the ecosystem are unseen. They work diligently in the shadows, contributing to the overall health and balance of their habitats. There are over 48,000 known species of spiders, each with its unique traits and adaptations. Some, like the orb weaving garden spider, are master architects, while others, like the trapdoor spider, are skilled ambush predators. Spiders, though often misunderstood or feared, are crucial cogs in the ecological machine that keeps our world in harmony. Their significance in controlling pests, supporting food chains, and even as nutrient recyclers cannot be overstated. The Silk Secret of Spider Dive into the Science of Spider Silk How spiders produce silk, its various uses, and even its potential applications in human technology. Spider behavior and predatory tactics, explore the fascinating. How spider make web and silk is an interesting process. The process of how spiders make silk and construct webs is a fascinating one. Silk gland secretion where spiders have silk glands located at the rear part of their abdomen. These glands produce a liquid protein solution that will eventually become silk. There are different types of silk glands, each producing a specific type of silk for various purposes like building webs, creating egg sacs, or wrapping prey. Extrusion of the spider forces the liquid silk through tiny spigots, or spinnerets, located at the rear of its abdomen. These spinnerets are like small nozzles that allow the spider to control the flow of silk. As the liquid silk is extruded from the spinnerets, it comes into contact with the air. This exposure to air causes the liquid to solidify rapidly, transforming it into a solid silk thread. Web architecture of spider Very different species of spiders have various web building techniques. For instance, Orb-weaving spiders create the iconic spiral-shaped webs. They begin by laying down a framework of non-sticky silk to form the radial lines. Then, they switch to sticky silk for the spirals. The design is species-specific and even takes into account factors like prey size and location. Retreat and repair of spiders usually have a retreat or hideaway near their web. They'll use non-sticky silk threads as bridge lines to travel safely between their retreat and the web. Spiders continually monitor their web, making repairs as needed and recycling old silk. Feeding and reproduction of spiders may also use silk for creating egg sacs, cocoons, or shelters. The silk is versatile and serves various purposes in a spider's life, from catching prey to protecting their young. Silk recycling of spiders are resourceful creatures. They can recycle their silk. They consume and redigest old or damaged silk threads to conserve resources. It's important to note that not all spiders create the traditional orb webs. There's a wide variety of web structures and silk uses among different spider species, reflecting their adaptations to their environment and hunting strategies. The incredible diversity of silk and web types is one of the many marvels of the arachnid world. Subscribe share like and leave constructive comment on our deep research.